One of my greatest fears is coming true. I'm not happy camper, so I might want to get the kids out of the room. I'll try not to swear too much, but I'm angry. Again. One of the things that I've been af really afraid of is coming true. I was in the local Spend-A-Lot in uh, Lima, which is my adopted hometown. When I noticed a flyer on the wall, it immediately caught my eye because it said that these presenters were coming concerning uh, a comprehensive plan and all that for the town. I took a good look at it, and the more I looked at it, I said, oh, oh. Agenda 21. Well, I've just spent some time, serious time, researching the presenters, and I can link two of them to Agenda 21, and the third one is probably Agenda 21. I'm going to name them off, and then we'll go over them, and I'll provide the link to the Rochester Regional Community Design Center, uh, they denied being Agenda 21. They denied knowing anything about it. I talked to an administrator there and she said, I've never heard of Agenda 21. Well, I'm very sorry, but, uh, if you say you didn't he hear about it, you didn't know about it, ma'am, you're lying. I should have told her that. Okay, one minute to adjust my windows here. So I don't screw something up. Alright, now what is Agenda 21? Agenda 21 is this UN globalist control grid where they basically, they want to take the sheep and they want to herd us into these tiny little apartments. Uh, the outgoing mayor of New York City, you know who, Mayor Bloomberg, Mikey! He uh, introduced the prototype Agenda 21 apartments. He's thinking of little things that are barely larger than a uh, doghouse. And then he wants to pack the sheep and the workers in so uh, they can work us like animals until we get too sick to work and then presumably we would uh, go to whatever the future's version of Carousel is from Logan's Run. Alright. Anyway, so I got this site, Rochester Regional Community Des Design Center, and they were clearly lying. They clearly know what Agenda 21 is. There's no way they couldn't. And these presenters are coming to the town of Lima and I've looked them up. I just spent two hours checking and cross-checking these people to see what they do. I'm going to deal with them one at a time. First one on the list on their website is Ed McMahon. Not to be confused with talk show hosts who passed away. This is a totally different Ed McMahon. It says he is a senior fellow for Sustainable Development Urban Land Institute. Uh, this one is easy. He is Agenda 21. He's a globalist. He, uh, this Sustainable Development Urban Land Institute is an Agenda 21 UN project. He's a U UN Agenda 21 enforcer. Bad news. No question about him. The second one is Don Mack. 
Director of Entrepreneurial Community Center for Rural, De Rural Entrepreneurship, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, Donnie Boy wears glasses like a liberal will wear, which doesn't prove anything, I suppose. Uh, but I did a little checking into his background, and he's involved in transfer of wealth. Not wealth creation, transfer of wealth in uh, some of the things that he does. So apparently, despite uh, his supposed association with an entrepreneurial organization, yeah, he's a leftist. I've been unable to def definitively link him to Agenda 21, but I would say he probably is. That's Don Mack, D-O-N-M-A-C-K-E. Third one, Joel, R Joel S. Russell, land use attorney and planning consultant. Yes, he is Agenda 21. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. I looked him up, and at least two of the uh, cities that he is have for clients are Agenda 21 cities. He's also involved with an organization, I'm going to bring it up, it's called I-C-L-E-Y-I, I-C-L-E-Y-I, International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives. They are Agenda 21. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Uh, they work hand in hand with Agenda 21. They want to take your homes, your cars, so on and so forth. So this guy, Joel, Joel S. Russell, is Agenda 21. No other sayings or buts about that. There are three other presenters on the website. Rick Hauser, Mayor of Perry. New York, Tanya Wurbiski, Regional Director, Preservation League of New York, and Peter Fleischer, Executive Director, Empire State Future. I don't care too much about those. I'm not going to... I checked them all briefly, and I didn't find any connection to Agenda 21. Uh, we got a major problem. I... Uh, you know, we successfully kept Walmart out of here years ago because we didn't want to see our jobs going away. And then Wrong Aid lets me go. Is, uh, for, uh, as a reward. You know, no good deed ever goes unpunished. I helped save their asses by, uh, uh, fighting against getting Walmart in here and shutting everything down. So when Walmart moves into a town, mom and pop stores and most of the other ones just close up uh, their doors. And no good deed ever goes unpunished. At any rate, so, but there you have Agenda 21. You know, Agenda 21, you won't if they're able to implement in this countrywide, first of all, your guns will be gone. Which I have a feeling will run into a wall of lead before they're able to uh, implement something like this. Your guns will be gone. Your churches will be gone. They'll be outlawed. Your houses will be taken, plowed under. And you'll be packed into the cities, into these tiny little Bloomberg-style apartments. Essentially what they want are worker bees. Do you know what worker bees do? Well, worker bees last about three months, from what I understand. They work themselves to death, basically, for the hive. Well, they're stupid. They're bugs. They don't know any better. They don't require freedom because they're... It's just the way they are. They're bugs. They don't know any better. But humans do require freedom. And these motherfuckers want to take our freedom away from us. 
I am not a happy camper today. I don't have time or any resources. I have no money, no resources, and no time to fight this kind of thing. Not this time. All I can do is try to inform people that Agenda 21 is coming to Western New York. It's been here before, I'm sure. Now it's coming to my town and I'm fighting mad. But it gets worse than this. Believe it or not, Young Gospel Church is hosting these motherfuckers. On Friday, October 25th, at Elon Gospel Church, they're hosting them in the afternoon, and then again on Saturday, the 26th of October, they're hosting them. This is beyond belief. That a Christian church would host motherfuckers like this, let me tell you something. They would never host a psychic fair. But, you know, most of these things, if you don't take them too seriously, are just harmless games. Ouija boards are harm harmless game, tarot cards, tea leaves. It's a harmless game as far as I'm concerned. Yes, I have played with a Ouija board before. When I was a kid, nothing ever happened. They don't give me a scrap. It's just a stupid game. That's all it is. But if you don't go overboard with it, you're just wasting your money. I don't have the stuff around here because I'm frankly not interested. I'm an agnostic. I don't want to get into the religion, but Christians have misinterpreted the Bible very badly, and, you know, even the story of creation has been badly misinterpreted. Why, I don't know. What, could it be somebody has an agenda? Yeah, I'd say so. But you'll lose your churches, you'll lose your guns, you'll lose all right to speak out against your government. You won't be able to go to the can without somebody find, seeing what's in your, uh, bodily waste and let's look 100 years down the future in the future everybody's living in these smart cities packed into these Bloomberg size apartments you know doghouse size apartments and let's say somebody's in their 40s and they go sit on the pot and then, two hours later, the enforcers arrive. Well, what have they done? Well, the uh, toilet is a smart toilet attached to a smart grid. And it's just told the town fathers or whatever, the town dictators, whatever, that this person has an incurable disease and that their working days are done well off you go to the carousel never watched Logan's run the movie or the series well carousels where you get up to the age of 30 and then you go to this thing where you're supposed to renew but you're actually being Everybody winds up getting fried and they all die. And then one of the enforcers called Sandman, called Logan, they set him up and that poor guy winds up being on a run because it says that he's supposed to be terminated and it's not his time. Uh, cheesy science fiction, but entertaining. That's about it. Uh, Agenda 21 is coming to town near you, Western New York, and you people don't wake up, you're in for big trouble. These people hate freedom. They hate representative government. You see, they form these boards that have power over the citizens, and yet the citizens don't have any ability to throw them out of office. 
These are all appointed stuff. Things. So they circumvent the legislative and representative process. This is why they have to be stopped. And like I said, they'll take your houses, they'll take your guns, they'll take your religion, they'll take pretty much everything, and you'll be working in a, essentially, a communist slave state if you people don't wake up. They may not call it communism, but that's what it amounts to. Because like I said, you know, worker bees work themselves to death after about three months. They're bugs. They don't know any better. We do. We're supposed to have this thing called freedom and creativity that puts us above them. And these people want to take that freedom and creativity away from us. I urge you to get involved. This is Agenda 21. I'm 99% certain now after doing some extensive research and cross-checking lists and so forth. So get involved. Wake up Western New Yorkers. Wake up Tom Lima. Agenda 21 is coming. And they mean you harm. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve this message. <laughs>